was taking on was taking place in the world right now. I've spoken um, a few days ago about the real aim and the objectives of this invasion of Gaza and the plans of the West was to attack Iran. I said that in the early I said that months ago. And in fact it has been they have been trying to attack Iran a long while long. And Iran has been playing a long, patient, patient game with them. Iran politically has been clocking on the correct cards. Or Iran has been making the correct alignments. We may not want to see it because many of us still lost and deluded and can't straighten in our minds that the Shia Sunni line isn't for us. The Shia Sunni line is to create division in Islam and that's what it has done successfully and has added to the 70 three sects of Islam and all of them could go to hell for my part because all of them destroyed Islam but Iran itself barring all that we want to think is doing what we supposed to be doing and Iran and Hezbollah and Yemen and all these nations who for years have been battling and put up the true resistance against the West have been holding out so right now the shift from Gaza has gone back to Iran Yemen facing war for trying to stop the, stop the atrocities in Gaza. Yeah, Yemen didn't didn't deserve a war. They didn't attack anyone, kill any civilians. But Yemen currently at war, and you will see today that Iran, for the first time in a long time, you will actually hear Iran taking an offensive stance. Now, Iran has traditionally never actually attacked anyone. And that's the next thing we have to always remember, Iran don't really go out there attacking anyone. But Iran has been attacked multiple times, but today Iran actually took an offensive stance and they destroyed the bases for some French Sunni terrorist Khawarij extremist group. And in Pakistan, you know, for Iran to launch long-range ballistic missiles to Pakistan as well. And they don't miss. One thing Iran has been showing in the last few years is that their guided missile systems are not missing. Um, they actually took out yesterday in Iraq and Idlib. They, um, sorry, I have said the name wrong, but they took out um, some American bases inside there near the American consulate. And although their missile defensive systems went in, they didn't stop the, the Iranian missile. They hit the target. Bada boom, bada bang. No. What we should do, stay out there. Or stand with Iran or stay quiet. Don't encourage no Muslim fanatics to go out and fight Iran. Because these French Sunni terrorist groups, they work for the benefit of America and Israel. And for years now, I've been saying it. For years now, I have personally been fighting it and I've encouraged many to fight it. And we have to know, jihad against them is a combat duty. They are destroying this woman. So, Iran has gone against them and I have not to say may Iran just do what they have to do and be successful at the end of the day. Don't fall for the games. These French, French renegade rebel groups in Sunni Islam, these are the ones who have at all times been doing only one thing and one thing alone. Been doing actions that has only benefited the American and the Israeli regimes, the West, the Dajjal army and the Dajjal nation, they have that is all they have done. All that ISIS and Al Qaeda and Jaish al Islam, I think that's who um, the Iranians attacked in Pakistan and Boko Haram. All they have done, whatever they have done, has only worked into the hands of the West and the Dajjal's army, American and Israel. And that is the one thing you would find that, Israel, uh, that Iran and Hezbollah and Hamas and many of them do really get tied up in and ask yourself, clock the mats, do the mats, figure it out right, figure it out when you relate these things back to the Sunnah, the Prophet the, the Hadith of the Prophet talking about the alignments and who and where and what think, think, think right, because everything that the Prophet says about what's happening now is falling into place chip by chip as our brother once said if the Mahdi should come from the Shia nation what are we going to do as Sunni Muslims hide run 
right? For the time being, the alignment, the Muslims aligning with the Christians is happening, right? The fanatic Zionist Christians we still have to fight against. Muslims need to be preparing themselves in a desperate way. We need to start stocking up, packing away stuff, training the kids. But we ain't doing shit. Seriously, we ain't doing nothing, right? All we want to do is fight about Akira, Akira, Akira. And this one can't stand for Palestine because them Akira ain't right. And this one can't go out and protest because Muslims are supposed to protest. And this one ain't going and doing shit. You know why? Because Satan run rampant in this Sunni Muslim body of ours. Because we lost in intellect and we lost in sensibility. And we lost in the ability to think freely and to apply what we see and what we know into real life decisions and how that won't work out for anybody right so we in the mess we in and it has to be stopped but we need to think and do what we have to do